Someday you'll have a project that's going to require finding the other end of a wire, or perhaps finding where that wire runs through your home. In today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use a wire tracer, also known as a signal tracer. A wire tracer is a relatively inexpensive device. Some tracers, such as this one, require that the wires that you wish to trace not be energized. This means they're not receiving any power from any source. If you have the need to trace wires that are energized or receiving power, you can look for wire tracers that are made for live wires. These are typically more expensive, but they can come in handy, especially if you're tracing, say, AC wiring in your home, because you won't have to shut off every breaker in your home looking for that particular wire. Signal tracers have two components. There's the transmitter and the receiver. Most transmitters have alligator clip connections on them for connecting to one end of the wire. But you'll find that some of these have multiple termination types. This comes in handy if you already have a connector connected to one end of your wire. Let me demonstrate how to use this wire tracer on a non-energized Cat5e cable. That means that the Cat5 cable is not plugged in on either end. You'll see I have a coupler here, and that's to allow me to connect the RJ45 connector to this cable. You can see I have a number of connection options available. I'll use the RJ45 since we're dealing with a CAT5E cable. Once I have it connected, I turn it on using the on button. And the receiver also has a, an on button. It's a momentary button, so you have to hold it down. I keep my sensitivity turned all the way to the max, and I only decrease it if I'm unable to locate a wire. In other words, if I'm getting false readings across multiple wires, I might need to turn it down. So with that turned on, now let's say I want to find the other end of this, this cable that might be in a closet full of multiple cables. So I'll hold it down and I'll probe each end. Now I'm hearing a little bit of a beep, but I want to test all of them. There we go, because the loudest one is going to be the, the end of our cable, and it is. So not only is it useful for finding the other end of a wire, but you'll notice if you place this anywhere near the wire, it starts going off. So it's also useful for finding wires behind walls or underneath floors. Well, as you can see, this is a very handy tool that can turn a half day scavenger hunt into a 10 minute job. One last thing I want to mention about these wire tracers is you can spend a little or you can spend a lot. Some of the more inexpensive wire tracers don't do a very good job of being able to detect the wires behind the wall because they don't have a lot of strength. So you may want to spend a little more money and find a tracer that has more power and thus giving you greater ability to find those wires that are hidden behind materials. But spending more is not always a guarantee, so be sure to check out those product reviews. Well, there's your quick tip on how to use a wire tracer. I'll see you next time.